Hi, I begin with a due apology for the way I am dressed. My colleagues don't like it. I should have been more formally dressed, but it's a Sunday. So, please allow me the privilege of looking different on Sundays. I would like to thank you for the numerous views that the first show generated. It gives me the encouragement to carry on. I am told great artists don't work for money, they work for their work. I like money, but I like the analogy about great artists. As you know, I am doing it for free. I have no monetary interest involved here. So if you like this, keep coming back. I have a very interesting news for you today. It's a very small, uh, maybe insignificant coverage. See the size of it. It's just this much. In the Times of India, dated 22nd January, it takes just this much space. And let me, let me bring it closer to you. It says, man held for abusing wife over caste. Okay. I'm going to quickly read this so you understand what it is. The Nerul cops arrested somebody on Wednesday for allegedly refusing to continue his marriage due to his wife's caste. Okay. So some, the, the man who belongs to Maratha community residing somewhere married a Dalit woman and he says he does not want to continue this marriage because his wife is from a lower caste. Why have I chosen this? to be our law news of the day for a reason I choose this news because it has significance in the way we live our lives as Indians India is probably the only country Hinduism is probably the only religion where men and women are divided into castes let me tell you in law the caste system was abolished in India long back. So legally, there is no caste system in India. Legally, it is banned and abolished and you are not supposed to discriminate people on the basis of their caste and yet it happens. And I will tell you why it happens. You have abolished caste system. I think this was in 1947. I may not be right about this. Somebody please correct me later. But it is abolished, that's for fact. But yet it continues. And I will tell you why. Because your forms, your schools, your admission forms, and uh, your matrimonial columns, they all identify your caste. Pick up the newspaper and you will understand how many castes there are in India. No, there are more than four. If you think there are four castes, you're wrong. There are castes and then sub-castes and then so on and so forth it is it is a disease for a country like India it is a disease to be identified by something in which you had no role you played no role in choosing your caste it's not in your hands and yet it is stamped right on your forehead there are acts and laws that protect the underprivileged in terms of caste but I have a question here why don't you simply stop using caste why don't you simply stop referring to yourself as being from this caste or that caste that's easier to do rather than simply abolishing and continuing with that traditional legacy why don't you make it punishable to identify anybody by his caste whether you are an upper caste Brahmin or a lower caste Dalit you simply need to stop identifying yourself as that. If you can do this, you mean business. If you can do this, then you're, then you're giving teeth to your law. If you cannot do this, your law is useless. Caste has been referred to in Bhagavad Gita in chapter 4 in verse 13. I can safely tell you that what has been referred there is not what is being practiced now. Bhagavad Gita is one of the most sacred texts of Hinduism and it is one of the most spiritual works of literature and philosophy ever written. When Sri Krishna said Chatur Varnyam, he did not mean four castes the way you are practicing today. He meant 
there are four types there are four categories there are four varieties of people he did not mention anywhere that it is hereditary he did not mention the word hindu even once in the 700 verses of bhagavad gita can you take some time and allow this to sink into you lord krishna and his book bhagavad gita does not mention the word hindu even once yes it does mention chaturvarnya chapter 4 verse 13 here it is chaturvarnya maya shushtam i have created people in four not cars types categories and that's true there are people like me who are professionals we we deal with books we deal with studies there are people who are businessmen who don't deal with books as much as I do. They deal with money and trade. There are people who are soldiers by birth. There are four categories, but they are not confined to Hinduism. They exist all over the world and that is not hereditary. So my son doesn't have to be a lawyer. Then how is it that my son has to be what I follow as in terms of a caste? This news is significant because interesting things are happening in the country. Country is on the threshold of greatness okay and this is going to hold you back somebody i don't remember who a great leader says this is the scourge s-c-u s-c-o-u-r-g the scourge of mankind okay martin luther king once said in his famous speech i have a dream in that he says i have a dream that one day four little children of mine will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character if America can at least say this, if an American leader can say this, why don't we have a leader who says, my children will not be judged by the caste they are born into, but by the content of their character. This is the long news for today. It's a very sad piece of news and there is nothing that one can do about it. Okay. But I urge readers to simply stop referring to themselves and others by any caste. I urge any government official watching this video to have the strength to ban the very mention of caste. Like you had the courage to ban 500 rupee notes and 1000 rupee notes and usher in some change. Why don't you do the right thing and make it a punishable offense to refer to anybody including oneself by one's caste. Thank you for watching this video. Please send me those thumbs up. That is what is my earning. If you don't show, send me thumbs up, I will not send you the videos. See you soon.